Time to do Oh, it's moving. It's moving? Uh, oh, oh, it's moving. It's moving. Awesome. Yeah, we're good. All right, guys. Welcome back to another session of this. Now, a bunch of housekeeping to start off with. Now, first of all, Alto will not be able to join us because Alto is currently in a car ride, technically a van ride, back from a convention. And Ooh. Earth Sage will also not be able to join us because drowning in classwork. So, Ooh, with but two that time PCs... for the classwork. Yeah. So, yeah. So, with two PCs down, I thought I would try something different. Because it's not going to work out to just play with two players. And to be honest, we have reasons to not just want to do nothing this week. So, we're going to do a side thing. Um, and joining us for this side thing will be Val. Say hi, Val. Right. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so a quick okay. overview right now so people know. We have, we're going to have five characters for this. I'm going to be running one. Risu will be running two. Jeeves will be running one. And Val will be running one. Wait, so we no, have... I go completely insane. Yes, yes. If I go completely insane, you know why. Yes. And another thing about this is this is going to be a lot of a testing bed, so to speak, for things. So we are going to be testing a bunch of homebrew characters, races, monsters, etc, etc. And if the party dies, I know not to make things that hard next time. <laughs> <laughs> then we we gotta die, die so hard. Remember guys, if you die, it's his failure as a DM. Yep. Not, uh, not as players. Alright, so, to start off with, uh, you might also need to bring the chat in a bit better, Jeebs, on your yep, end. I'm moving it. Um, I start off with for the characters. So let me explain this. We have in Risu's control Ishtar, which is a harpy rogue, a thief rogue to be exact. We also have Mika, which is some form of cat girl. It's a uh, G actually. Yeah, I, I'm aware. It's a type of Khajiit is the actual race, but we're kind of ignoring that and such. And she is a homebrew dancer. That'll be fun to mess off with. Would be sources a uh, animal race. <laughs> Picture. Picture Better. as the dancer is kind of a monk bard, and you're not too far off. With a little bit of rogue thrown in. Yeah. Next up, we have Jeeb's character, which is Carrie, which is a Asimar, I believe is how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Picture a celestial tiefling, and you're pretty much right on the money. And Asimar. she'll. Yep. And they'll be trying out the Fury class, which is. I personally love the um, story behind it, and. You can kind of understand why, knowing like what my plot has been about, and the fact that this is essentially Fury of the Storm type of a deal. Uh, beyond that, we have Juliet Von Crow, I believe is her full name. Val will be running Juliet, and she is a human blood hunter. And blood hunter was a homebrew class made up by Matt Mercer. I, and I'm pretty sure he's from Critical Role. I don't actually watch Critical Role. He's a voice so... actor, just so that's what you need to know, mate. Yeah, I, I don't actually watch Critical Role, so I'm, I'm aware of things, but I don't really pay much attention to it. And then we have Hope, who is a tiefling cleric. Yay. The <laughs> only thing that has no homebrew attached to it. I don't know, I think my one's the only one that's been trialed and tested, so this is... Uh... <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. So both so and I spent today, a, uh... a long time building the Fury and, and uh, testing it and, and trying to make it match what the intent is which was difficult and make it balanced and uh and matching going... the intent and matching the balance it's two completely different things yep anyway and, that'll uh... be enough for i think going over the characters yeah. sorry I cut you off jeebs but sorry, um i was just saying for... that, that i was the one who did the uh, testing on dancer so when that fails terribly blame me yep <laughs> will do so for a bit of the side story stuff what is going on with this group is you are. Let me move you all to the map. To the map, to the map, to the map. The world map. You all are going to be somewhere down here in the elven forests. And the entire thing is that you were all actually contracted by, like, for money or some other goal that you wished by a local adventurer's guild to look into some strange disappearances regarding elves in the forest. And as you follow through all of this stuff, you manage to eventually come across a convoy, a, 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 yeah, a, trade, a trade caravan, a, which had been attacked. And luckily, there were a bunch of survivors. And questioning them, you determined that only one elf was taken from this convoy, and more importantly, it's orcs. And that is really strange, because there have not been orcs this far south 
in an eternity. And if there are orcs in the area, you do, it's pretty apparent that this is going to be troublesome for the local elves, because orcs and elves, we all know how that ends. So, what you decided to do is try to track them down, which isn't the hardest thing, since it seems that the elf was, that was captured had been trying to leave a trail to be followed as she was hauled away. And eventually, following all this stuff, you end up in the entrance to this place. It should be about upper, like, high upper middle. When I can see... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you're going to be starting off in this area down here when we have all the PCs and everything else. So you travel all down right. to this ruins you find, and you can kind of hear a few echoes in the distance, but it's the air is stale, and it's kind of quiet overall. Okay. Okay. DJ says it's odd that elves are getting lost in a forest. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not elves. It's orcs that are the trouble part. Yeah, basically, the orcs set up an ambush. Tell, and, tell uh, DJ he should make his up. own campaign and then make him not get lost. <laughs> right, um, another thing I will make the comment of is Hope has, like, tapped her shield, so it is a light with glow, so you actually have light coming from her. Ali oop. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, also cast Mage Armor on myself. All right. Because uh, that's the thing. All right. Uh, is, there, <clears throat> is there any kind of penalty to my movement if I just go into stealth now, just in case? Um, I'm going to say no, but I might have creatures roll against your passives unless you're actively trying to be like super stealthy. And trying to be stealthy near the group might not be the best idea because Hope particularly is wearing heavy armor. Like, she's not wearing full plate, but she is wearing some heavy armor. All right, give mm. me just one moment. Kids are getting in trouble. All right, so start off uh, with the first room as you come down to the bottom of the staircase. You can see that there are four large stone, like, four large pillars. And in front of you, you see what looks to be a rather ornate door. And two hallways off, one to the left, one to the right. Do we know anything about this area? Um, maybe history you, or anything? Um, I'm going to say, lacking any proper elves in the party yourself, that you don't actually know much about the area itself. Though you do know you're in a rather old set of ruins. Um, it's made mostly of stone, which is kind of odd considering it's an elven, or you're in an elven place, but such like that. Um. Yeah. So at this point, really, it's just looking around. Okay. Uh, what do we see on the door? The doorway itself is rather ornate. It looks as though it's hiding some great hall behind it, or something of the sort. I am back. Sorry Welcome about back. that. Can right. Can Carrie put her ear to the door and see if she hears anything beyond it? She may. Roll persuade. Um, perception. I'm gonna persuade the door. Yes, persuade that door. All right, putting your ear to the door, you don't actually hear a lot behind the door. You do kind of like hear a few muffled thuds, but you're not really sure beyond that. Kara's going to say, I think there might be someone there. Someone else should go first. Don't you want to check down the side pass first? Maybe someone should stealth down there and check. <clears throat> Um, All right. I'll go and take it. I'll go and take a peep. We have two stealthy people, so good thing we yeah, have I'll two passages. A... I'm gonna take a peep. Also, silver AC is uh, armored on carry. Yep. Right, do I need to change that or? Yep. All right. Um. Hope will kind of look over at Carrie and she'll make the comment. Do you want me to check? Check what? Or to try to open the door? Uh, let's let the others. Take a look around first and see if there's anything All right. of note. Technically, as long as I move half. No. You have advantage, okay, so right, it's... Ishtar? Yes. Cool. Uh, it's a it's a bit dark down here, so uh, just because of 
I should I would have had one prepared. Uh, is it right? I just have the my night my night eye mutagen prepared. All right, so this. that's night vision. Yeah. Bam. Yep. Thank you. Can I cast light on my uh, wand? You can. Hope has light up as well. Yeah. Just because I'm not going to be near Hope, I'm planning to basically be. A, you a also night have night vision night. yourself. I think. Do I? Everybody. I don't know if Ishtar does, but I think Ishtar everybody has else. normal. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. No light then. <laughs> Forgot I had dark yeah. vision. <laughs> uh, what do I see in front of me? Um, as Juliet walks down that hallway, she sees off down below, right over here, is another ornate doorway. Um, directly in front of her, she sees what looks to be a much smaller doorway, which is not nearly as ornate. It seems to be made out of stone. Uh, I, I take it they can hear me from... Well, most of them can hear me from this point, yeah? Yeah, I'd say they would. You're only like... I, I just I pass on what I see. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll let Ishtar continue on if she wants to. Ishtar's just going to have to listen because she's going to be able to see down there anyway. Yeah. This this entire area is pretty dark and dank, and it's kind of understandable. I mean, who would be maintaining the torches that might be on the wall? They're just listening mm -hmm. quietly. And you can roll perception? Um, um, here's what she does for me. Uh, perform with perception. <laughs> and listening up ahead, you don't actually hear anything in this hallway to your north. Carrie's gonna motion to the others and say, "Let's try this door." I was gonna step back to the pillar. All right. So, hope we'll kind of make the comment. All right, I'll go to open the door. Yeah, I guess I'll come back. So she is going to take a few steps forward to the door. She's gonna try to. To grab the handle, try to turn it. The, like the handle will turn, but the door doesn't move. So she's going to side. It seems to be jammed. Should I try to break it down? Mm, there's some few side paths we could take. It might lead around. Best not make any noise just yet. Mm. Let me take a look at it. <clears throat> All right. So she's going to move out of the way of the actual handle for Ishtar to get in there. All right, just use Thieves' tool, see if I can't unjam it from here with, like, a rod or something. Yeah, see if you can't, like, unlock it, unjam it, whatever have you. Yeah. It just makes the Luigi's Mansion uh, lock door noise. I kind of wish that Mika were a pixie and size tiny so we could call her Tiny Dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. Carrie can go, hold me closer, Tiny Dancer. It, it wouldn't work. That's the group we have. Um, Alright, Juliet just holds it close. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's Dex. And you would have um, a proficiency on it. Alright then, so... <clears throat> as you go through with the Thieves' Tools and you try to unlock the door, you feel something actually give with a click. Roll a Dex save for Mika, Ishtar, and off the roll one for Hope. <laughs> wow. It, it, the, it's just a cannon in the doorway. This is like the deck centric party. I just wanted to point that out. Like everyone has loads of decks, aside from maybe Hope. Yeah, because yeah, I hope I has could, respectable decks. To be I didn't think we had a roguelike character, so I went, "Oh, I'll just make a blood hunter that's roguelike." <laughs> <laughs> All right, and for Mika as well. Work on it. Yeah, Carrie has fourteen decks, so probably one of the lower in the party. <laughs> All right. So Mika, in her own usefulness, is able to dodge out of the way as two huge boulders come rushing down and impact both Hope and Ishtar, who get knocked off to the side, and both of them are going to take... I did not actually work out the damage beforehand. One moment. I'm smart. Good job. And both of them are going to take... 18 damage. Holy shit. Well, I think they know we're here now. And Ishtar and Hope are both going to be knocked prone. <laughs> well. <laughs> As the boulders impact into the door and kind of stop there. And you get the feeling from these two boulders hitting the door that this door is an opening. 
Okay. I'll just carry a nudge. Looks like I ain't going that way. Let's uh, let's take a look at one of the side passages then. All right. Follow me, my dear. How high up is the ceiling here? Uh, the ceiling here, I'm gonna say, is 20 feet up. And like in the main rooms and the hallways, it's only 10. You know what? Do you want to try? Do you want to try and shake the small small door? Can can Carrie check to see if this door is locked without opening it? She can check. I'd say roll an investigation. Okay. It's not gonna just like jiggle the handle or anything. We jiggled the handle here and it didn't do anything. Uh, best you can see with that door, it actually appears to be fake. There is nothing mm -hmm. behind it. Silver, can I uh, listen to this door? You may. I may. You may. I may. Oh. Kara's gonna like say the there's there's something odd about this door. No, I don't know, Jack. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> oh, yeah. going straight into does it. Does this work? Wait, 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 wait. Is my demon oh, door does. finally a thing? <laughs> nope. Uh, uh, you can wipe that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, never mind. Here we go. Oh, hey, look, there's a boulder with an initiative. Oh, I'm all oh no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Wow, Hope went first overall. She was very alert. As you all start going down here and messing with the doors, Hope kind of makes a glance back as her weapon seems to start, like, making a small, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, a small siren like sound. And as she looks back, the two boulders that ran, that had rolled down the staircase are both standing up with like little legs and arms out, and they both kind of look at the party. No, living rocks. Oh, Pretty no. much. And hope at this point she's going to alert the rest of the party so they don't get caught off guard. And she is probably going to... Well, I don't want to have her start out. And there's only two enemies. She's not going to start out really bad. So she's going to just kind of rush forward. And she's going to attack with her mace. Mika should have a five. Or five in ish. Mika should Mika have a five. A yeah, Mika. Mika yeah, I got a reroll. Shut up. Mika, reroll. Yeah, all right. So Mika's. Oh, wait. Been... Ishtar's, Ishtar's not Ishtar. in there. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, all right. That's weird. So, it's because I didn't highlight the top of this math robot they had on the sheet. This so tower had a 10? Yep. Right, yes, so forgive me. I'm used to up here. Map move map her up. down. We'll carry because reasons. So, yeah. Um, Hope runs forward. She'll raise up her, her mace, and she'll smack it down on the first rock. They, I don't think they're actually, like, weak or anything. Ooh, I don't actually know that off the top of my head. What's hey, Jeebs. It? Yeah? <laughs> eh, I'm not going to spoil that. I'm going to just check. Oh, we're probably resistant to all damage types unless it's from magical sources. It is magic. Okay. Yep, that is a magic weapon. Good. So she'll bring the mace down and deal what looks to be nine damage as the rock kind of stands there. And at this point, both of the rocks kind of turn and look to the pillars and raise their arms. Oh, the pillars Oop. are fake. Oop. Jesus. <sighs> I don't think it can well, do much more than that. Backslash. <sighs> oh. Well, this is going to be a short a one shot session. <laughs> Kara's going gonna... to call out to Ishtar to move when she gets a chance. Yeah. Ran on it. All right. Um,. So we're going to start off with the two that will attack Ishtar. I think, Hope, I think Hope's dead. Uh, <laughs> Ishtar, I would expect, was actually in the air, right? Yeah, she's still airborne. All right, so I'm going to say that they won't actually have advantage from flanking due to that. So cool. she's that's, that's going, going to again. end up taking nine <laughs> bludgeoning damage. And then the ones against Hope. Oh. One, two, three... Four. This is how we lose our healer. <laughs> so, miss, that'll hit, that'll hit, and that'll miss. So I have two hits. 
then that'll be for a good chunk of health. Hope is not looking too good after that. I'm, I'm not the only one who brought health potions to this thing, right? Um. <clears throat> oh my god. As a question, <laughs> are any of you... Any of you who eat? wish to try to identify this, you could roll an Arcana right now? I'll do it. I'll, I'll willingly do it. Hush, Spend and not rolling. <laughs> What's he saying? I'm not actually got the chat open. He says so much for having any hope for surviving, Rimshot. Can uh, I kill him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, five. Yeah, uh, that was. So now you have Ishtar to roll. This is why I, re this is why I need real dice. And dice cam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so both Nika and Hope will recognize one particular thing that these are a type of earth elemental and that the two that were initially here are what actually conjured like re or animated the other four that jumped down so probably getting rid of the source might get rid of the other ones do yeah, the other, do the, does anyone remember, remember which one are. those were yeah <laughs> I expect Hope is going to keep a focus on the one that she was attacking initially because that was one of them <laughs> Can I roll a history check to remember which, which two are the real ones? <laughs> Juliet's up. Oh, I or not Juliet, Ishtar's up. Let Ishtar's up. <laughs> yeah. So what's the action mission? to disengage? All right. I'm going to come down this way. Yeah, point this one. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind is this was the one Hope had attacked. And this one is the other one. Also... <laughs> Just so, time. just so you know, Juliet, I'm planning to shoot a line right down through here. That's oh, why. That's why Carrie told uh, Ishtar to move around. So wait, wait, straight down. Oh, great. Yeah. So don't stand in, in the line of the three. I could, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. You're on that one, Jeeps. Yep. Okay. All right. So the rapier will hit. Dealing seven damage. Wait, is the rapier magic? Unfortunately, no. So it'll only has deal no three damage. Speak attack still applies, I believe. There's yep, and that rapier. will deal another eight damage after the halving. That's why I have it. Okay. Anything else for Ishtar? Nope. All right. Juliet's turn. Uh yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> and this is where Carrie would just tell Juliet, "Don't get in the line." How about I'll stand in here? Good. <sighs> so I'm going to write up. Uh, well, I'm a level six now, so I take away six HP. Should have done this bit. Starts four ends. <sighs> Not enough coffee. Need more coffee. There's a question. I'm just going to roll this so I can see the reference for it. 10 or damage and ha or half damage. Okay. <clears throat> Whichever is okay. lower or higher. Uh, geez, all my uh, right damage was set up on this thing, wasn't it? I think so. Oh, uh, I don't know if I added it to the to the attack, so go ahead and roll your attack and we'll see what happens. Yeah, it wasn't added to well, the attack. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. The attack wouldn't hit anyway. Oh, I get a second attack anyway. Yeah, you do get a second attack. I can add that into your uh, thing real quick. If you want. Yeah, it's Juliet's... Good, 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 good class. It's just right damage, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right yeah, I just need to add it to my crossbow and my... Uh, right to range the melee. Yep. Yeah. And that's the only one? Uh, Should be. Yeah, I've, I've only got the cold. Alright, yep. Uh, Alright, there you go. Thank you. And I'm going to save it now. I am so sorry. Sorry. I knew it was going to happen, and it's like she still would have gone first to try to protect the party. <clears throat> Alright, that second one, you have ranged on it, right? Or are you no attacking? You're attacking the one next to you, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the rapier itself is not magic? It's a plus one, isn't it? It's plus one. Oh yeah, it is plus one, so that will, that will hit, and you will deal a grand total of 15 damage. Yeah! <sighs> I, made the, I made the rock cold. Why is there a lot on here? <laughs> What? Falana's here? Yeah, it's like, why was Falana on there? I got rid of her. <laughs> Alright, so next up will be Carrie then. <laughs> like Feel the fury of the storm. 
She's going to activate her bonus action fury. Oh, and... Oh, oh, oh shit, freaking lasers. <laughs> she's going to shoot a freaking laser. Oh. Sorry to steal <sighs> your thunder there, Jeeves. Right. <laughs> so I got to roll deck saves for three of them. I got to roll and deck of saves. of course, the fury Thanks. damage. And... Uh, the fury oh damage is what, three or four? I did not write that down. It's uh, for level six is four is uh, three. All right, so you would have done thirty-eight damage, <clears throat> half if they pass their saves, and two of them pass their saves. So the oh. first one is going to take thirty-eight damage, and it does not look too good. But it seems like shooting the lightning through two rocks didn't really do the best thing to damage them. So half of thirty-eight is nineteen, I believe. Something like that. <clears throat> All right. Anything else? Baking. Uh, what, what do you say? Shooting lightning through rocks didn't damage the last one. It da no, it damaged them. It's like you, the first one failed to save. The second two um, passed. Okay, so you're just flavored. All right. Yeah, I'm just flavoring that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. It, yeah. That's my bonus in action, and that's all. All right. So Mika's um, turn now. Actually, sorry. I'm gonna have her back up a little bit. Okay. Now it's Mika's turn. Magical Mika. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. I'll go ahead and attack one the right of hope. Uh, so this one right here? Yep. All right. This is magical. I should have checked. Uh, second place now. I'm really worried about my position because if I stand somewhere, it's like, oh, lightning. No. Uh, what did I mess up? One moment. I messed up a macro. I'm more worried about me losing control and then destroying you. Oh, I forgot that's a thing. Yeah, yeah you kind of want to try to keep your distance away. We did nerf the range of the lightning, so if you outrange her, which is very possible to do, you'll be safe. Feet. Yeah, so you can easily outrange her and be safe. 30 feet from where she is is there, pretty much out here in this room. At the moment, it's like at the moment for me, it's like oh, I use my uh, one of my not like the only form I had on me uh. really early, but it's like eh, night vision, having dark vision is super useful. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. I messed up. Yeah. <sighs> what? She is undefined. Uh, Something wrong with the class action? Uh, dom dominant presence. I apparently messed up. Just on ticket for now and roll without it. Oh, I see what I did. Oops. Okay, it's fixed. No, oh, yeah, I see what you did. Do you? Yeah, she messed up. When the I map. Yeah, she that. she wrote the macro in wrong. It was the yeah. All right, so roll. Huh. Ooh, and that will crit dealing. So let me see here. Initially, you will hit. You will crit obviously with the first one doing six damage. The right. psychic bit of it will also hit for four damage. Um, does Crack the Whip work on Ego Trip? They all stack. <clears throat> okay, so that would work. And, and that's, that's, you yeah. automatically grapple, so... Ooh. You want to swing, uh, swing it around? Yeah, I'll keep it grappled. Are you going to swing it in anything? You can smack you it into a yeah. wall or other object. Smack it to the golem to its right. It's a solid object. So this one over here? Yep. All right, is there a roll for that? or They take seven damage from that. Okay, so <coughs> let me start off with roll, removing the damage. So it's going to remove <laughs> six, four, and seven. And then... And this one also takes seven over here. Okay. So that one kind of looks a little worse for wear. It is back up to Hope's turn, and... And I apologize for how long this gets. Yeah. Hope I don't is... Kind of panic. Hope is going to kind of panic, and she's going to raise up her shield, which has her holy symbol on it, which is an Ankh, and I feel like there was something else with her holy symbol, but I don't recall. And she is going to... <sighs> Spirit Guardians. Ooh. And she's also going to bonus action. Eh, she might not bonus action heal herself because the heal is not going to matter. 
for the most part. Well, let's just hope right. you don't die. Yeah, so it is a wisdom save, so... And fifth, what's the range on that? 15 foot radius? I think I'm hitting all of them. I'm hitting all of them, so let me just roll in order. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And all of them have failed their save. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my. That we is still a have very, hope. very rare occasion. <laughs> and as, okay. <clears throat> How much damage did I do, by the way? Uh, is eight. eight. Is eight radiant? Yep. Okay, so doing eight radiant damage. Eight radiant damage. Eight radiant damage. And as she calls forth the center, you see a group of fae-like um, creatures, like spirit, um, ghost-like creatures come down and just start going through and attacking all of these boulders in the area. Four of them fall to the ground and stop moving. Carrie's going to yeah. say, everybody move! <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, no, she's probably just going to cantrip from now on anyways. So, <laughs> and, she, and Hope is going to take a step down, and now that she sees that she has a bit better of a chance to live, she's going to try to heal herself. For the love of God, Carrie, please don't shoot lightning bolts at my ass. <laughs> I believe that this is the uh, holy symbol for Isis, unless you're using something different. Um, I was using the default one. I just didn't recall what it was off the top of my head. Is it a is it a bomb strapped to your? No, sorry, wrong Isis. Ooh, <laughs> bad, bad. The good Isis, not the bad Isis. Come on, guys. The That's actual Allah. Egyptian goddess Isis. That's Allah. I know. All right, I know. Uh, first thing I since I didn't actually put in the things for her, so <clears throat> she'll gain an extra three from that. Yeah, she'll she gain an extra three for that. She'll get eight from that. Isis Akbar is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> and this goes back to the boulders' turn, and uh, yeah, they're gonna have a fun time. So the first boulder is gonna take a step up. Is it? Oh, take a step up. Okay, is he gonna cool. boot charge? Is he gonna grapple? Oh yeah, that first one is grapple. He cannot. He, is gra he can't move. <laughs> he can try to find it. Thank you, Mika. <laughs> it actually would not have been able to reach her. I don't think. What was it gonna do? Just put on bull charge, yeah? Or well, roll into it, I guess. <laughs> so the second one will move down here and try to attack Hope. I think again, and this one will attack Mika. At this advantage. Not magical Mika. So it doesn't matter because it rolled a 27 and a 24. So that's going to hit Mika regardless, and it will do <sighs> 9 damage. And the one that hits Hope, oh god. She has one health left. <laughs> Still alive. Still alive, though. And this, was... is and this is probably the easiest account encounter. Does the next room have a uh, have a shop for us to buy some potions in? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that you can't actually stand on the pillar because you'd be like ten feet up, so you would not be able to get to the boulders to attack them. Can she fly, fly over a boulder? Yeah, you can fly over the pillar, but you can't actually hit the boulder from on top of it. Uh, I can't fucking get that. No, no advantage. No advantage. It was a smart boulder. Stupid boulder. Still eligible for sneak attack, though, so it's going to get eight. Um, yeah, get the boulders even have half movement. Hold on. Wow. Did, did you do the uh, the spirit guardians for them starting their turns in the zone? Uh, No, I did not, actually. You are absolutely correct. Let me roll. Uh, let's re roll the clock. Yeah, let me re roll spirit guardians again. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Well, they're dead then. <laughs> both of them fail their save again, so they both take 22 radiant damage. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. And then there was <laughs> Ishtar's attack, which will hit, dealing 14 plus 15 for a total of 29 damage. Halved. Aye. 29 damage halved, which is, I'm just going to say 15. That boulder looks like it's getting pretty worn down and about to fall. The other one looks just to be a bit in better shape. Parts of it aren't crumbling there's, nearly there's as a much. Little, there's just a little bead of sweat going down in this front. <laughs> yeah. Mika's turn. Uh, no, it's I not. Am so... Julius, no, sorry. No. Julius, Julius. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, just come on, Silver. Come on. Uh, don't forget me. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Val. <laughs> Double attack, you are flanking, so that first one will hit dealing... One of them's a crit. Yeah, that first one will hit dealing 20 damage. Total between both the attacks, since you have magic, and the second one will crit. And as you poke your rapier through it the second time, the enti you have um, frost in your, yep. your right damage, right? Yep. As you poke your, ra uh, your rapier through the uh, boulder the second time, you see the entire thing start to ice over and then shatter. It's dead. It's, I got a bit of it. Somehow, you get a bit of my hand. Just, just All right, blow it away. <laughs> my turn. Uh, unless Juliet wants to move a bit more. Uh, yeah. Uh, where was I actually? I was basically. You were like right here, or so give or take. No, uh, you were down one. I was down one. Yeah, you were down so, here. So yeah, you sorry. have and... you moved ten, so you can move more. Uh, give Ishtar uh, advantage. I don't know if you can. No, I don't think you can reach it. I, I, even if I move, I don't really have much, but... Well, you can get advantage off the Ishtar if you move right there, yeah. Wow. Well, screw it, I'm just... You... Jeeves, you're right with me, just stem it. Yeah, That's I'm not gonna tool. lightning bolt. Yeah, you can just... Can you, you can shoot out of us, can't you? You got spell sniper? Um, I've I've got cantrips. Okay, you can, yeah, I'll yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just go there. <clears throat> Alright, so next up is Carrie's turn. Roll wisdom save. Wisdom save. You're I good. passed it. Alright. I'm alive. <laughs> so is everyone else. Okay, I'm going to uh can I what see you from play, here? Why would you play a cast that's basically a ticking time bomb? <laughs> that's that's your fault for playing with someone who's a ticking time bomb. My goodness, you, people. Uh, cool. How how crazy Sorry. could you be? Um You're I, literally a -Akbar. I do not have spell sniper. So they so, will have um, half cover, I'm going to say. Which is plus two AC. Yep. Okay. But you crit anyway, and you're going to deal 22 cold. She can hit from that? Jesus. And uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to deactivate Fury State. And I said that you could do that freely, or was there the test? Bonus action. It's yeah, only a right, test that's, if yeah, that's, what, uh, that's Yeah, if you've lost control, right? Because right. that's what we agreed, so that was less headache-inducing. Because yep. you're still going to have it harder to keep control and it's still actually using it up, so it all makes sense. Alright, so that'll be it for Carrie's turn. This boulder is still alive, though. It looks like it's about to fall to pieces. You don't have advantage there, do you? That, 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 what? To your, to your right, to your right, go to your right. I moved one too far, sorry. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I miscounted when I hit the left. I do, I do a gaffo. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Refuse to rage. No hack. I went no deep. Hack. Finally, no according to DJ, I went deep. You're talking about ISIS. Oh, yeah. that one. Yeah, the uh, that whip will pretty effortlessly hit the boulder. And as it does so, the boulder kind of just... You feel the whip kind of... You pull back and the whip just cuts through the stone and two parts of it fall to the ground. It's dead. I... I... Yeah. I, it rolls on my toe, and, it's, and I just <laughs> you have to pull it back. So that was a fun uh, trap. Ringleader Cancer is equal to the Whip Monk. Kind of. Uh, right. It's, it's a cool idea. Yeah. So, so yeah, I gotta say, I I like that trap. <laughs> I'm liking Dancer so far. Seems to be working out. <sighs> All right. Um. I've granted I'm only using like the Whip Attack for now because honestly. Yeah, oh, there's there's a lot to it yeah. that we're not really keeping track of, so I can get rid of the Galeb Der. Are we, oh, like with mute. Are we with still the, uh, in uh, Are we still in initiative? Because I just moved. No, you're you're not still in initiative yeah. right okay. now. You're right. good to end it off. I'm gonna click out. Oh. With the uh, muting things, like oh, actually, pretty much for this character, I'm mostly relying on my basic abilities because I can't really mute mute up. At this yeah, level she's much. also gonna roll over there and kind of sit down and take several breaths since that was that was fun. I I try and be sure a power on the head and all that. Just try to get it to calm down. Yeah, sure. All right. So to start off with this right now, gonna go over here. I'm just gonna go to Ishtar and heal up Ishtar. Um, you should hope you should probably heal yourself as well. Yeah, she's gonna start off by healing up Ishtar. She released the um, spirit guardians, by the way. You doing okay, start Goat Mom? Uh, I just like, on. I'm like, gonna reroll that because that's the second one, and I'm not having this happen again. 
I'm like, <laughs> he's like, I. Do you remember the session? I rolled nothing but ones on heels. I'm not having that happen again. <laughs> I like, I like the flick. The side All right, carry so stage, Ishtar so will end up getting back 13 HP. Oh yeah, you know why don't you add it? You know what? Never mind. And she's gonna get back three herself, and then she's gonna cast the cure on herself. She's probably going to cast it at level 2 because she needs a lot more healing. That's not a lot more healing, but I'll take it. And that's going to be plus 15. And one more level 1, I think. Because she got the poop kicked out of her. And let's see. So she's in a bit better shape, but she's probably going to try to linger back a bit more now. Yeah... All right, that was, goes, that was like a trap that, that, yeah, that, was actually, like a trip that a Kaya runs into. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know how. Actually, I'm just you know, as a reassuring hope is like I don't know how reassuring and um, calm it is for someone with now spider eyes to uh, <laughs> say it's all, it's all right. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably like I get the feel like you guys would have been together for at least a week or so, so you would have at least gotten to know each other and know that like these various things about each other. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Heads up, heads up, all, mut all mutagen stuff, spider, yeah. spider related. She's gonna next make the comment that we should probably check out that door properly now. Did you see anything about it? I don't recall if you actually had the chance to roll. Uh, it was fake, wasn't it? Uh, this one down below was fake. Yeah, not. I, I did do a perception. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, the uh, this one down below was fake. Both of them are faked. Uh, I don't know if you checked the stone one over to the on the I, floor. I, he perceptioned against it, but didn't really do anything. All right, yeah. I'll let JB. Control is trying to change out the, la the laundry, but if anyone's going to check the door, let us try to do it. Could I? Oh, you could um, like investigate the door, try to open it. Uh, yeah, I can do an investigation. Actually, who's, doesn't JB have better intelligence uh, no. than me? No. Oh. Who has good intelligence? Because I'm not very good. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not very I don't good. Think this super party smart. Has, I don't think this is a very smart party. I have plus two in. Uh, I, I don't feel this is a very smart party. <laughs> <laughs> well... Probably not. I'll uh, check it then. I'll check it anyway. Four. So, no. Yeah, you can't really tell much about it. You can try to open it and such. Uh, Gary, should I open it? Um, well, what do you what do you know about it? Um, it's a door. Right. Uh, can I roll it's, an investigation? Maybe. You maybe can roll an investigation yourself. <laughs> yeah, it looks you, like a door. You don't even think it's made out of stone. I think it might be a wooden door. All yeah, right. I, 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 it looks like stone, but I'm pretty sure it's wood. All right, um, gonna try to open it. I, I maybe, I maybe might lean on the handle, and it might slowly open. It's locked. All right, let's let's bring thieves. I think we can get someone who can pick locks. Bring Ishtar up who has the tools. She's gonna come over board. here. She's gonna do unskilled decks. It's you should have thief stools made uh, made as a yeah, yeah thief, you should be you're proficient in thief tools all right yep. aren't you so Ishtar goes in she brings out her thief tools and as she goes in there she kind of jimmies around with the lock and you can hear something kind of click and unlock and as you try to push the door open it's still actually locked you can get the assumption that it's possibly barred from the other side or maybe locked through magic well guess we're going I guess we're going down the other side <laughs> can I look at this door and see if anything's changed about it. It's you can look at it? Perception or what? I'm just going to tell you this flat out. Okay. Nothing looks different about it than you did before. You get the feeling that they were just probably fake doors to try to lure people into the trap. Okay. Just uh, to I'm going to make sure... I'm going to stealth. Okay. I was just wanting to make sure that it wasn't like uh, some sort of a <laughs> system that you unlock this one and the other one is real now. Um, oh, I'm stealthing back up and go back down this. I'm gonna have Ishtar roll with you. Okay. Okay. And Hope is just gonna stay back because she is the opposite of stealthy. All right. And as the two of you walk forward, you see another. It's kind of. It's still a small area. It's big enough to be honest. And you see three doorways: small one to the left, a uh, small one kind of behind, and then a larger one to the right. And sitting in the center of this doorway is a large stone statue. Huh. Okay, uh, what, is there any kind of role I could do to uh, find out more about this? 
You could try to perceive it, move closer, and try to investigate it. Mm, I'm not very good with investigation. It's mm. Totally, totally nothing evil about it at all. I take enough in history. I can't use history on it, or let's try going no. to investigate. Yeah, you can't no. use history on it. Ishtar doesn't actually say oh, anything insight. special about Oops. it. Um, insight. No, it don't count. It don't. Yeah. I pressed the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't actually see anything special about this statue either. It kind of appears to just be an ornate decoration thrown out in the front. <coughs> I, no, I, I would assume Ishtar, Ishtar would kind of. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd go and get the others. Yeah, like Ishtar probably wouldn't even be able to see. I don't think she has dark vision. No, no. I, yeah, so I she wouldn't have been able to see that very clearly. So it was mostly for um, Julia. It's, Ishtar was there to kind of be support. Um, <coughs> with that being reported, <laughs> Hope will kind of say maybe we should keep going further in. We haven't found any orcs yet. Mm. So these these are all doors here, yeah? Yeah, those are actually doors. Okay, uh, I'm just going to use perception on this one about right now, see if I can hear anything on the other side. Alright, you put your ear up against it, and... I'm just going to roll now. You don't hear anything on the other side. Damn it. <clears throat> Alright, uh, can I perception this one? Yep. I bet you might be better off investigating it, to be honest. You feel like you might hear something behind that door, but it's pretty off in the distance. You're not quite sure. And I'm going to do this one as well. Listening behind that door, you can't quite make it out, but you definitely hear something behind that door. So there's possibly someone over here that wants to kill us. Carrie's going to say there's something behind this door, maybe. Uh, well, there's enough. I didn't hear anything on this side. Do you want to try this one, or...? Yeah, I mean, if there's nothing there, maybe we should try out the empty rooms first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, I guess I'll try and open it. All right, and the door is actually unlocked. So you'll be able to open it up. Let me just open it Am up Am I you. still stealthing as I open this, or...? You're still stealthing as you open it up, but keep in mind that with the rest of the party there, it doesn't matter quite as much. Right, I'm just going to slowly peek, slowly work my way inside. All right, but and as a, yeah, as a comment to explain the things of the map, you see these tiles which have the triangles on them? Yeah. That is counted as difficult terrain if you were to move through it. As for the area okay. itself, you just see a bunch of boxes with supplies and a bunch of other things on it. Oh, please let there be a healing uh, potion. Can, can, I, can I have a quick rummage through it? Yeah, you can rummage through it. Roll an investigation. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Would someone want to give me a hand over here? I'll have Ishtar give a hand. Because I get to control three party members now. <laughs> Just oh. like me yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, because everyone was jumping out. Except this time it's over half of the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And Ishtar... Oh, uh, I, I was just going to give him advantage. I'm um, going to have you roll specifically because it's going to be... <laughs> uh, well, the bright side is what, that... We need Carrie, really, with this one. She's the one who's actually got the intelligence for this. Uh, Carrie will, will come on over and she doesn't have the intelligence for this. She has the highest intelligence in this party. She has plus two. She has plus the highest intelligence in this party. It's ridiculous. You, okay, Jeeves, Jeeves. You got plus two. I've got negative one to it. Okay. Perhaps I should have taken proficiency in investigation instead of perception. <laughs> oh, All right. Yeah. As um, as Carrie looks around and investigates a bit further, she's able to see a few things where the others did not. First of all, these supplies look. It looks like it's a bunch of supplies that orcs have grabbed, both um, having stolen otherwise. She is actually to find about three healing potions there. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Love Normal healing potions. And beyond that, something much more impressive. There is a set of mithril... What is it? What is it exactly? Let me, let me check this. It's, it's cursed. Don't listen to it. It's, it's mithril leather armor. It is, myth, is a mithril breastplate. Oh. There's also a shield next to it. And sitting alongside it as well is a very fine-looking rapier. It, 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 now this rapier could, or it might. 
Um, Carrie's just going to say, you really didn't see the, the giant set of armor, the shield, and the sword. It's not that hard to see. It was at least <laughs> hidden underneath a few things in the corner. It wasn't like out in the open. <laughs> She's going to give one potion to, to each. Um, I've, got, I've got two on me, so... Okay, so well, she's going to she's gonna keep two and give one to Ishtar. All right. Uh, can we detect any sort of magic at all from uh, those? Have to, have to roll stuff. Arcana, won't we? You can roll an Arcana. Uh -huh. Can I help carry with trying to identify it? Or? You'd have to roll your own. No. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Alright. You're not sure, though, considering the design and how ornate these are. Yeah, Ishtar is able to get a better A. Ishtar knowing, Ishtar, knowing her shiny things, is able to have a very <laughs> strong idea that these things, at least the armor and the rapier, are magic. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll take the stabby stabby if you want to take the uh, armor. Yeah, you can have the stabby stabby. I'll take Sabby Sabby. Does Hope have shields? She has shields, right? Uh, Hope has a shield currently. I won't know until I attune to it, I guess. She's the only she's the only shield bearer, so let's give her the shield at the very least. Um, and you said it was a breastplate. Is that yeah, medium it was armor? a breastplate. It w it is medium armor. It is a, bre a mithril breastplate. I don't think I have any armor. Pretty sure I don't. Um, oh. No, I mean I don't think I can do any armor. Well, you're a, yeah. Well, you're a, you are a spellcaster. So I wouldn't imagine you wearing much armor. Yeah, no, it has to be Elven created, Chain like, for the without the proficiency thing. Yeah, I've just created yeah. like six different characters in the last two days, so I'm just yeah. getting a couple things mixed up. <laughs> At least you didn't um, have to make thatch, so. So you could I'm back. you could use that. Oh, hi. Um, just so you know, Risu, I gave you a healing potion. You've got a healing potion in your inventory now. Uh, I'm trying to find where I am. You're up top left. You're more top left. Uh, Ishtar, I should clarify. Oh, I, I, Ishtar has a healing potion now. Ishtar cannot peek. Nope. Um, can you? Can I have light cast on me, uh, just so Ishtar can see? Yep. You can cast light on yourself. Is there a way to actually attach it to a thing next to you, or should I just change your light? Um, you could create a token and put it on there. Like I would assume um, she'd cast it of, on of, one of these crates oh, so yeah. everyone can see in the air room. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, great. Yes, that one. <laughs> Light. All right. Now we're starting to see. <laughs> All right. And um, that was pretty much all you saw of note in this room. So should Juliet have the uh, have the armor, or should we give it to Hope? All right. Hmm. What kind of armor was it? It was medium. a mithril breastplate, medium armor. Uh, yeah, I guess Juliet could take it, though it may mess myself. What kind of armor is Hope wearing? Hope has. What does Hope have? She has probably better than that. Yeah, she Kira's has gonna, split mail. Kira's gonna come out yeah. here and say, "Hey, what? hey, Hope, what do you have for uh, for she armor?" Has, her she armor is she... fully better. She has split mail on. Carrie okay, wants you to take up. your clothes off. <laughs> yeah, let's give it to Juliet. <clears throat> I don't think Ishtar can even use medium armor, right? Oh, she's not proficient with it. Oh, darn. Uh... You do not actually need to attune to the armor. So you're just uh, here's someone's. Does... Yeah, you do not actually need to attune to the armor. Fucked up. Is what it is, and um, <clears throat> the weapon just being. It doesn't seem to be like it seems to be magic, but it doesn't seem to be anything too out of the ordinary. So you could probably just use it as is. Is it a plus yeah. one? Yeah, it... it's, well, no, it's a it's a plus one. I'll make it simple for you. Oh, so I basically got two plus one rapiers. Yeah. Uh, what does this to have then? Ishta has a regular rapier. She can have she can have the one I just found then. Okay. Yeah, because I I I'm, I know my one isn't cursed, so I so here you go, you can have this magical <laughs> one. Yeah, you're so kind, Juliet. 
You're so Look, kind. Look, after, after the stuff I keep seeing from your two campaigns, I don't trust any of your magical <laughs> items at this point. <laughs> Alright, are you going to try to open another door now? Um, Carrie's going to check this one to see if it's locked. Alright, so Carrie will go to, like, is she pressing or putting her hand on it to check this on the handle? Oh, I'm going to say yes and activate the trap you're so eager to have activated. <laughs> Uh, I, I stand. I stand. A step everybody, back. roll a. Let me double check what it is exactly. Is. Where are you? There you are. That's the trap. Most likely, yeah. For con. Actually, no. Everybody, roll a wisdom save. I. Oh, they sure oh, screwed. That's good. I'm alright with that. I've got advantage on. I've got good <laughs> stuff on wisdom. Uh, hey. I think I may have failed that one. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, ooh, right. Ooh, is that everyone? Not as bad as Mika. Uh, three. Two. Yeah, that's everyone. All right, then. So, Hope and Juliet are the only ones who have passed this. Yay! And as this goes on, you hear, like, as you go put your hand on the doorway, you hear a loud, like a, kind of like a fast ringing sound in your ears. And Hope and Juliet, it continues to be this for a while. For the other three, this ringing starts to like slow down and down until it turns into comprehensible words. Visiting hours for the jail are over. And the statue below you starts to move. So you three are slowed. Curious no. gonna just say visiting hours for the jail are over. Yep, you and now we roll initiative. Why when they wiped his <laughs> Did I wipe the initiative previously? I did. Good. I'm smart. Well, disadvantage when you're slow, isn't it? Uh, I don't it? think this no. actually. You, no, it doesn't get know. disadvantage to this. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, about to say you would know playing as blue. No, I don't. This isn't an actual slow spell. It's not nearly as bad. Slow spell oh, doesn't give you disadvantage, anyways, on initiative, does it? Um, huh. That's weird. I'm not I'll sure. I'll put it for me to slow because I don't fit. First of all, neither of these right. two characters Have you seen anyone. I I'm just always going to be Mika. acting late. Yeah, I don't see Mika. Uh, Mika rolled a 19. Uh, wait. You, I'm going to assume, are just bad at selecting different tokens. Mika rolled okay, a 19. Okay, I'm bouncing between sheets to do this. So yeah, and like really... I realize you want me to just roll the initiative for you because I have macros for on the little bar at the bottom. Yeah, I put a macro yeah. on mine. I, I say just yeah, I, 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 yeah. We have what? both. We have macros for NPC initiative and normal initiative because I otherwise it's too much pain. That. I should probably do that. So set it up for my one. I'm gonna borrow it off Solana. I'm gonna set hers up for a macro bar. <laughs> All right. In day. the meanwhile, though, as the statue animates and everything, it kind of turns to look at Ishtar, and I'm gonna say this outright. You get the feeling that flanking this thing, it's not going to be easy. It commands you to spill the blood of the innocent. Hello. Like you, yeah, you get the feeling that this thing is meant to fight in these cramped areas, and that flanking it won't do much to it. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Good news is, um, Carrie is in range of everyone, so totally good time to go into Fury State right here. <laughs> Right. Is this classified a large or a huge creature? This is a large. Oh, cool. I can still grapple it. So Ishtar first. Remember, you you get an action or a bonus action, not both. And you have half speed. Okay. Not worry about it. I'm going to quickly be right back. Okay. Because she still has sneak attack there. Okay, that's going to be annoying. I need a second screen. If right. one of you want to buy me a monitor, I appreciate it. That will miss. Damn. <laughs> Next up is Mika's turn. Uh, you know what? Casting Hex. Okay. 
which I haven't not heard. I actually do. I just have to get to it. <laughs> Is there a save on it? No. There's no save on Hex. Okay. Is it, it just concentration? That's the bonus, but since I can't do a regular action. It's just going to be raped here very shortly. Are you going to move? No. Okay, so it is now. That's a yes. You said no oh. to your... Okay, so you are going to move. You said yes. no. I changed my mind. All right. Right. Actually, so, yes. as Mika goes a step away, the stone golem turns up and will smash its fist down her. She will take 19 damage. Yeah, she hit. Wow. Beautiful. Ah! I would take away that. Roll a concentration me. save. Uh, straight con, isn't it? It's straight con, yeah. You keep concentration rather effortlessly. Now you can roll another wisdom save. For both Ishtar and Mika? It's just going to be for Mika. Okay. Uh, yeah, for, yeah, for Ishtar as well. I forgot she already went. So Hello. Mika is still slowed. You can roll a wisdom for Ishtar as well. Wait, Mika knows Hex? Yep. It's, yeah, yeah, Dancer is, yeah, Dancer is um, Bard Monk. Uh, they have Hex, they have... Uh, All right, so yeah. both of you are still slowed. Hope will Ishtar take a step. Ishtar will never pass that. Ishtar will never pass I don't that. expect her to pass that actually either. Hope will take a <laughs> step forward. Uh, does she want to take a step forward? Actually, let's not have her take a step forward yet. Hope will... No, do it! Do it, do it, do it, do take it, do it! Take a step to the left, then step up. Spirit Guardians! <laughs> eh, don't, she doesn't want to use Spirit Guardians I right yet. I think what she'll do, though, is she will Guiding Bolt it. No. Fine favor. Which will miss. Horribly. <laughs> Good job. She had one job. One job. One job, and she failed. And you know the turn order isn't moving? Yeah, I'm aware. I haven't moved it. Oh, and right. she'll throw a heal at Mika as well. 